Well now, it is Wednesday evening, August 2nd, and it is just hot outside. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, what was the temperature? About 113 today. Whew, I don't know if our southern Oregonos can take it anymore. I had AC, well, decent AC in the shop today, and I was still frying. Went to take Crustine to the gas station to go get myself a soda, and I'll tell you what, it was only about a five minute drive. By the time I got there, I was drenched in sweat. Crustine there, she was just barely getting up to temperature. That V6 actually takes this 100 degree weather pretty well. Of course, only driving about five, ten miles at the most anyway. Well, I think it's finally down to about 90 right now, um, and it's 7.30 in the evening. Just couldn't bring myself to get out here in the shop and do anything. It was just too dang hot. Um, so I sat in my nice air-conditioned house for a while. <laughs> but anyway, um, got my fan going, got the windows open, and we're trying to get some air movement through here. Uh, this week has not been without progress, though. Um, Monday and Tuesday... Well, mainly Monday, um, had the day off of work. In the afternoon, I spent uh, the afternoon block sanding. Uh, actually, not even block sanding, just kind of hand sanding. Uh, color sanding this uh, Bondo, or <clears throat> Bondo, primer. And, uh, see, I tell you, the heat's getting to me. I can't even talk right. Anyway, um, been color sanding on this uh, primer here. Uh, this is all down to 320 right now, and it's actually... Pretty, pretty dang smooth as it is. The only issue is you can still see the sand scratches. This would be plenty fine if uh, I was going with a base, uh, with a, a solid color, not a metallic. But because I'm going with a metallic, the 320 that leaves these uh, sand scratches in there just is going to um, cause the metallics to just follow those and it's just not going to look right. So I got a bunch of 600 this right here and I did went ahead and broke down did one little section on uh, Tuesday evening and here you can see of course you can't get a super clear image but that's what we're going for As you can see it got through to the epoxy primer a few times but that's okay because the epoxy primer will smooth right up but that's what we're going for I mean this is super smooth I hope I'm not getting any wind in the camera because I got my fan on full blast but anyway done this whole panel here in 600 and it is just smooth as glass uh, I'm really impressed I'm almost wishing I had gone with uh, 800 on there but I think the 600 will do this is kind of my test area because all this is going to be covered so if I need to go with 800 for the rest of the build then that's fine I'll know basically right away after I paint um, I'm hoping to today get a good amount of 600 uh, sanded down with the 600 because tomorrow evening I'm going to be uh, busy with this saw here. A uh, buddy of mine dropped this saw off. It's an 064 and um, anyway I had a lean seizure so the piston's all scored up. I don't know if how well you guys can see that but anyway that shiny spot there is a bad score and it's all scarred up real bad so uh, we're going to take this out to the shop and clean it up real good. I'm going to pull the cylinder off, check the bottom end out, make sure the bottom end's okay. And we'll hope for the best. Hopefully we just need to do a top end and a full service on it. It should be good to go. But anyway, that'll be tomorrow's project. So um, Here's the side that's down to 320. Still a little rough. I saved some of the rough spots for the 600 because the 600 will do. I really didn't want to have to spray another coat of urethane on here. If I have to, ultimately I will, but I went, I just did a bare minimum with the 320, just got the highs and lows knocked out, and it stopped right there, and then now I'm going to go over it with the 600 and hope that uh, that will be enough. But Yeah, we're, we're making progress. Um, like I said, it's just been so dang hot out here, it's been hard to get the motivation to <laughs> come out in the shop. 
Uh, I'm going to be looking into an air conditioning unit for the shop um, that I can put in one of these windows because I got a window here. I do have a window here, but the shelf's in the way. Um, and I got that window over there. So if I get a small window unit or something, just something to kind of get some air movement through here. That's uh, a little bit colder than this fan. This fan actually is a uh, swamp cooler, but it's just uh, leaks like a sieve out at all around the bottom. I tried it out the other day um, in swamp cooler, and it started pumping water, and it was getting cold, but then it started dumping all over the place, and I was like, well, that ain't going to fly. So right now I just got it on fan. I'm just trying to stand in front of it so I can stay cool. <laughs> so anyway, well... Um, like I said, the 600s, the 600 seems to be doing the trick. Um, I'm really just, I've never, this, this is the first time I've actually really taken the time to sit and sand on primer um, and, and do some body work. And all I can say is, man, that's just, that's amazing. When you can rub your hand across metal and it feels like glass. And it just, that's the first time I've ever had that feeling. But hopefully it'll, hopefully all that'll really make the paint come out nice. I'm going to do a three-step cleaning process to get this metal as clean as possible. Um, and then hopefully on probably Friday I'll finish block sanding it and then what I'll do is Saturday I'll start taping everything up and I'll start getting this place ready. And maybe, just maybe, this coming Monday we'll, uh, we'll start getting some color down and maybe some clear. So we'll see. It just depends, uh, you know. Life gets in the way work gets in the way and just gotta do what you gotta do so anymore I try not to set a set a goal I just you know I go along and I do it when I can because this build's supposed to I, I want to enjoy this build don't want to rush it and I don't want to make it a miserable one so doing what we can guys alrighty well this video is starting to get kind of long and uh, I'm gonna stop blabbing off here um, so anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with, we're down to 320, we've started on 600, so by the time you guys see the next video, we'll have it done with 600, or at least mostly done with 600, and I'm going to start taping off. So, until next time, see you guys, thanks for commenting, thanks for giving some likes, and thanks for being there, guys, uh, thanks for watching these videos, and just want to say I really pre appreciate y'all, it's been great having you here to watch and encourage and um, give advice it's it's just been great you know so anyway one of these days we'll we'll do another video on that because I'm kinda getting close to a thousand subscribers so we'll uh, we'll do something soon but, all right guys thanks appreciate you thanks for watching see ya